Welcome to the Minor Student Athlete Feature, and today we have Olivia Walter from the softball team. Olivia, how are things with the team right now? You're currently wrapping up your fall practices, um, so talk about how those have been going and how they really differed from years past. Yeah, so we've done a lot of inter-squad scrimmages this year, um, way more than in previous falls, and there's been some really great energy I've seen from, we have a very young team and so a lot of young faces coming in bringing in the new energy and it's just great to be able to get back out on the field even if it's just for the inner squad scrimmage so it's been it's been a fun fall to say the least so you talk about new faces but the sophomores now that were freshmen last year they only saw about 16 games got to play in about 16 games so i mean they're still pretty new to collegiate softball in the program so talk about how being able to bring in the freshmen and also the sophomores kind of to mesh with the team has been. Yeah, it's been pretty easy. We're all really a welcoming group of people and um, the sophomores are super comfortable with all the upperclassmen because we did have so much time together last year. We just weren't playing. So they were, it was an easy adjustment to make coming back and everyone's trying to find their position on the field, but there's so much talent there that it makes it so easy to just mesh. So in years past, you've been able to kind of learn from um, Avery, um, you know, in the pitcher circle, but this yeah. year you and Kate are now um, the most experienced collegiate pitchers on the team. So how have you been able to help the younger class, you know, just kind of be more in that leadership role now. Yeah, it's all about leading by example. They pick up on your energy and your attitude at practice and how you're hustling. They all pick up on that. So it's kind of just a subconscious thing that, like, I always have to be on my A game, just kind of encouraging everyone, making sure that everyone is having fun but still focused and trying their best because we're all, in the end, like, trying to get better and to have a successful season. So... And also in years past, um, I mean, obviously Avery was there. You can kind of go to her when you have questions or anything. Um, how is that differing now, especially, you know, you and Kate as well? Um, you're, you're it. Like, you guys are probably our one and two. So how has that changed things for you guys, like, perspective-wise? Yeah, it just kind of – it puts a little bit of pressure on, but not too much because I still know that we can handle it. And it just kind of – I love being that – person that someone can go to for advice or questions on anything softball or school related. I really do love that. So just kind of having Avery do that for me my freshman and sophomore year, now I can kind of take her role in that and just carry on that part of her legacy. I think that's really special. So let's go back to this past spring. Um, you guys had just uh, played about 16 games, getting ready to open up your home, home season and day of, everything just gets shut down. So kind of walk us through the week leading up to that day and kind of what was going through your head at the time. So I had been recently diagnosed with a stress fracture and so my season had already been pretty much ended. And so then when 2020 just kept going <laughs> and uh, coach said that things weren't looking great for our season and just seeing the emotion that the seniors who their last season at school had been taken away, that kind of just set in and it hit hard. But I'm lucky enough that I have two more seasons left, so hopefully things will go better than what they were last year. But it was definitely a hard adjustment to make and to just have something that you're so used to spending so much time at taken away, just like that. It's crazy. Um, so once everything kind of shut down and classes went online, were you able to go back home to Catawissa? Yeah, I was able to go home and I set up a nice little office for to kind of separate myself to try and make it seem like I was still at school. <laughs> so with being, um, so you're from just like a small town outside of St. Louis, how were you able to, I guess, one, rehab from the stress factor that you had, but also get in that training that you would normally get in the summer from, you know, trainings, playing summer ball, like how were you able to adjust to that? Yeah, it was hard because gyms were opening and closing and so I had to do a lot of it on my own. I had to go into my basement and when I was fully healed, I had to do like tea work on my own and hey dad, let's go play catch outside because I didn't have anybody else in my area that I could uh, play catch with. And 
So it was all, it was a slow process to get back to where I was, but um, I think that having, knowing in the summer that we weren't going to be um, having games in the fall, I think that kind of put into perspective, like, I don't have to rush into things. I can take it slow and uh, prepare as I need to. Okay. Um, what made you decide to come to Missouri s and um, Well, I knew I wanted to play softball, but I also knew I wanted to do engineering, and a lot of schools, it's not possible to do both. But this school is one that, that stood out to me, was that school really does come first here. And so that's what kind of led me that I can still play softball and still get a really good education. It's both things that I'm really passionate about. Um, so with your education, you're a chemical engineering major. What kind of got you into that side? Like, that's what the major you wanted to take. What kind of got you into that? I really loved chemistry in high school, and I didn't really know a lot about different types of engineering when I got here. I knew there was mechanical, aerospace, and chemical. And I was like, well, I like chemistry, so I'll just go with chemical. And it hasn't let me down yet, so <laughs> I stuck with it. Um, so with that major, what, you know, You've been here about three years now. Um, what job fields are you looking at that really interest you the most with chemical engineering? Yeah. Um, well, I really like the gas industry, but also fertilizer and production, manufacturing. That kind of grabs my interest, too. Um, there's just so much that you can do with it. It's so broad that, honestly, the opportunities are endless. And that's one good thing about this school is that they help you find those opportunities. So with that, I mean, you still have a few years, but what are your plans after graduation if you have any right now? <laughs> um, I, I really haven't thought that far. I'm hoping to graduate in four years and find a job that I'm really passionate about. So, All right, awesome. Well, thanks, Olivia, for coming in. We really appreciate yeah. it.